Since its discovery in 2011, the Baltic Sea Anomaly is a mystery that scientists, conspiracy theorists, and armchair investigators alike have been trying to solve. A team of Swedish treasure hunters and adventurers named Ocean X Team had been scouring seabeds for shipwrecks and scavenging whatever they discovered. Their hauls typically included items like bottles of wine, ancient artifacts, and past technology. Ocean X Team's search of the Baltic Sea floor resulted in a discovery they'd never encountered. And for the first time ever, it gave them worldwide exposure. Team leader Peter Lindberg couldn't positively say what it was they'd found. He did admit it could simply be a plain old rock formation, but he also didn't want to rule out any other possibilities. For example, he at one point compared it to the discovery of a new Stonehenge. In the summer of 2011, Fox News released a brief segment on a mysterious object that ocean explorers found in the Baltic Sea. The story went viral on social media, and speculations as to what this thing was ranged from practical to extraordinary. One theory was that the object is a crashed UFO. The Fox News piece's title even read, Millennium Falcon at Bottom of Baltic Sea. Its seemingly intelligent design swayed people's imaginations toward the UFO theory, as did the evidence of a crash. The 60-foot-long object appears to have carved out a 650-foot-long trench in the seabed before coming to rest at the edge of a precipice. The Russian newspaper Pravda printed one naval officer's theory that it might be an underwater Nazi base. He speculated that it might have housed weapons meant to attack submarines and naval ships. Others claimed it's an exposed portion of an ancient sunken city. YouTube channel Archeodoku described it as a 14,000-year-old monument built by the Atlanteans in the Paleolithic era, and the circular seafloor promontory is actually a terraced monument. Other expert divers and marine scientists thought it was a mistake, that the sonar image was the result of a faulty scan. Jonathan Hill from the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University noted that the long, dark area being claimed as a crash skid is actually a type of image we call an edge effect, and in another scan it suddenly wouldn't look like a track at all. The skeptical scientific community requested samples and further information on the anomaly. They tested other rocks recovered from the site, and results turned out to be mostly mundane. One rock was volcanic, which is rare for the environment, but glacial movements likely delivered it to the seabed. This coincided with geological explanations referring to the fact that glacial movements formed the Baltic Sea. An associate professor of geology at Stockholm University said, both the feature and the rock samples are likely to have formed in connection with glacial and post-glacial processes, and nothing about the image was extraordinary. But the collective human imagination was not so easily stifled. For a time, Ocean X team provided tours of the anomaly for those who could afford the hefty fee. And as demand for more information increased, Ocean X team revealed that there wasn't any further data because of equipment malfunction. They claimed, anything electric out there stopped working when we were above the object. Somehow, this didn't prevent the divers from returning to film a 60-minute documentary. In spite of the expert theories of scanner malfunctions, or that it's simply a hunk of rock displaced by glaciers, some remain convinced that the anomaly is much, much more, and eagerly await the day the truth will finally surface from the depths of the Baltic Sea. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.